a reading of the New Testament as rendered by the Gullah people. This is a reading that uh, we do by just picking a page in this uh, translation of the King James Version of the uh, Holy Bible. You know, the translation of the, the, uh, the Gullah is written in this bigger language, uh, bigger type, and the uh, font for the King James Version, you know, the you know, the Shakespeare, the Marlowe kind of language is, is a smaller one. And I usually do this by glasses, but I don't have my reading glasses. I left them in South Africa. I'm sorry. <laughs> I left them in the Eastern case, so we'd be struggling. And as you know, we uh, we read it twice. We read the uh, Gullah first, then we read the translation back to Gullah, then the translation. And we do this, uh, we being me, uh, T from the Patterson State in the Trenches a bit, uh, because on my uh, maternal side, uh, my uh, great-grandfather, it was a uh, Gullah Geechee, and he's married to a Mohawk Indian. But uh, so I was, I, I, I wondered, always wondered, well, wondered, well, when the when the enslaved were were newly freed, they came freedmen. Then how did they learn language so quickly? <laughs> Not a language. How did they learn the literature? How literature to be literate, to read and write, and they used what they had, which was the, uh, the Holy Bible. And so uh, I figured by me reading the, uh, the, the Gullah translation, then perhaps I'd have uh, some sort of connection or insight into how it was done. So that's what we do. So right now we're going to page uh, 623. I'm just, I just go to anyone. Uh, usually I'm partial to things that add, add up or are div divided by, uh, by three, so I just go to 12, right? <laughs> that's what I do. Uh, if somebody want for a gi, God want to be satisfied cuddling to what the person got and not cuddling to what he ain't got. And the translation, and this is uh, uh, Corinthians 2.8. Um, uh, this is, uh, like I said, 12. So... Uh, Let's see, the translation goes like this. For, sorry. For if there be first a willing mind, it is accepted according to that a man hath and not according to that he hath not. Oh, that's good sentiment. Uh, uh, once again, if somebody want to fall ye, God going to be satisfied, cutting, cutting, for to what that person got and not cutting to what he ain't got. Once again, the translation reads, For if there be first a willing mind, it is accepted according to that a man hath and not according to that he hath not. There you go, reading from uh, uh, Corinthians uh, chapter 8. Uh, uh, verse 12 uh, of the the New Testament as rendered by the Gullah culture. I just thought I'd let you know. <laughs>